Hey y'all, this is Crookalish just checking in, or should I say Arthur Evans? Um Welcome to episode five of Lego in this new season, season two. Anyways guys, we are gonna get to it. Sorry so much for not being able to record the last few weeks. It's been busy with work and a few other things like that. So um, I've just been kind of putting it off, but hopefully I'll be able to get to it a little bit more coming weeks, but primarily after two weeks from now, hopefully we'll be able to make this work out a lot better. But anyways, guys, um, Arthur Evans is excited to bring this to you. This episode is going to be awesome, and we are going to be able to go and maybe... Maybe even just take over the world in one day. No, just kidding. Anyways, one thing that the... Uh, let's actually go see if this lady is single first. Let's go see if Arthur Evans can find himself a lady. Probably going to be one of the women married to uh, somebody. <laughs> let's see here. Yep, wife. Alright, well, see you later. <laughs> She's not single. There's no single ladies here. But anyways, one thing real quick, I'll, I'll just put it this way. Um, we do have a companion that is nameless and storyless, guys. So down below, there's going to be a little survey for this gentleman. Please vote and let me know what you guys think his name should be, as well as his uh, backstory. And if you have any additional comments or whatnot about whatever they should be, just... Just let me know in the comments below, and we'll get, we can get figured out. But right now, his name is Nazar, and we just don't know about much about him. That could be just his nickname. So we're, we need to figure this out, guys. And hopefully, we will be able to do that soon. But anyways, one thing that the the king of the United Kingdom has asked us to do, King George III, assuming that we have a safe passage over, is to go to Russia and talk over there. Where, where am I at? That's Scandinavia. There we go. Alright. This way's north. Okay. So go over to Russia, talk with them, earn some money, and then come back victorious and being able to help with our with our uh, island and being able to expand it all the way over to the mainland of Europe. That's the goal, guys. So anyways, let's uh, grab Arthur Evans and let's head south. Oh man, I'm way up here, up in Edinburgh. Alright, let's make sure we have actually a decent amount of food. We do have a decent amount of food. I sold all my items, it looks like, apparently. I was not paying attention there. Um, so let's head south and let's get going. Hope you guys have been doing good. Man, I just have to say, work has been going crazy. We, we've been trying to push out product for some time now. Now let's make sure we're not at war with uh, the Netherlands. That would be really bad. Holland in this case in here. Um, so let's go into Holland real quick. The war with the United Kingdom began relatively recently. Shoot. So let's see here. If I remember correctly, we come out right here. So this could be a very bad mission, guys. We're going to go at a fast, slow pace. I'm guessing this is uh, being looted by our men, so hopefully we do have some armies over here. What what was that faction? Okay, let's just skip by. Let's get on land. We go a little bit faster on land. We could fight that patrol. I love how it said following Arthur Evans, and then it was just like, oh heck no. All right, let's uh, let's go. We we got past though, and we can go over to Hanover if we would like to, or fight any random patrol that we want want to as well. Wait, are we at war with the Ryan? Oh, that's the French as well. Shoot. All right, well that that could be interesting. Here, let's uh let's make sure we're not at war with more factions because we could get easily get overpowered and destroyed. Um, yes, we're at war with the Rhineland as well. Who are we not at war with? Uh, we're not at war with Russia, nor Prussia, nor Austria. But everybody else we're at war with. So this is not good, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Um... I wish I was a little bit faster, but 
I do not want to push it. Caravan from Austria. I was like, hey, let's take it over now. You, you don't get too much honor when you take over those places. All right, now we're over here. Awesome. This is what it looks like on the other side, guys. This is what it looks like. It's all peaceful right now. Uh, Kornsburg is no longer in a siege, so apparently they're at war. So um, let's actually go into the town hall, see if we can do any quests or anything for some lords. Make some money. I know this is Prussia, though, so we need to keep pushing over to Russia. Oh, man. There's a lot of ladies over here. Have you single? Sir Arthur Evans is looking for a spouse. All right, you're married. You're married. How about you? Yep, married. Okay, I get the hint. <laughs> All right. Well, let's uh, let's go see about you. Lady, Lady Agassa. Alright. Well, there's no single ladies in this land either. Alright, let's keep moving on. <laughs> okay, pushing over to... Oh, 720. Holy king. Holy. Running from Sir Arthur Evans. Uh, yeah, surrender or die. Let's uh, have a little fight here. We are way past our boundaries, though. Oh, and my men are not that great. I need to make money. All right, let's uh, let's post everybody up right here real quick. Sir Arthur Evans will join his men on foot. All right, let's uh, move our cavalry over to the side real quick. Got a few dragoons. All right, all right. They're they're posting up as well, so we need to actually advance towards them then. Okay, let's uh, grab our musketeers and let's move them up a little bit. Oh, they're they're advancing here. Let's just move them up regardless. Okay, cavalry right there. Sharpshooters. Let's put you guys off in the. Oh, they're coming really fast. Okay, so never mind. Cancel that order. Stop right there. Cavalry, come right here. Um, infantry, move up as well. Uh, sharpshooters, I moved you right in the right position. I I hope. All right, auxiliary cav, and infantry move up over there. Okay, let's uh backspace and get out of that. All right, here they come. Let's get my sword out because I think they're gonna come over to the back lines. Took out his horse. Oh shoot. Got him taken out. Got him taken out. Got him taken out. What's up? We did lose a few men, I think, though. Okay, let's uh, grab our sharpshooters real quick. Let's move up our sharpshooters right there. Okay, these are our auxiliary infantry, which is that unit number. So let's move you guys up. Okay. Okay. Oh gosh, that was a bad shot. Okay, I'm gonna leave the target ridicule on, guys, because man, I suck without it. I suck with it too, so <laughs> it kind of works out. But anyways, Arthur Evans was wondering about how he's gonna shoot these guys real quick. That's oh, a little high. I need to be careful because knowing my luck, I could get shot. Okay, they took out two of their guys so far, so we've killed 12 of them. They got seven left. Okay, I have reloaded, so let's uh, advance up. Let's grab our sharpshooters, which are number four now. Nope, that was definitely not by me. Oh no, he's shooting at me. Ooh. I may want to get behind my men. Because if I get hit once, I'm out. Alright, let's see here. 
I think we need to advance. Hey, I got a headshot! <laughs> that was pretty awesome. You guys have to admit that was pretty that was pretty sweet. Alright, uh let's uh move up our sharpshooters over there. Let's move up my auxiliary infantry right there. Let's grab my cavalry, let's grab my infantry. Auxiliary cavalry, let's move you guys up as well. They only have three people left, so in all reality, let's just have our cavalry charge and our auxiliary cavalry charge as well. They should be able to take him out rather quickly. Oh, they took him off horse. I love how this guy is just standing up here just like, yeah, I'm a boss. Alright, our auxiliary cavalry is charging in. The British cavalry, I have no idea what they're doing, but that's okay. They're just like running around shooting up in the air. It's actually kind of funny. Leave it up to the auxiliary cav. Yeah! Good job, dude. Good job. Okay, let's see if we can grab anything here. Okay, come on. Let's pocket it. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can grab a few more items. Oh, come on. There we are. Come on, pocket it. Yeah! I don't know why, but I feel like you have to have multiple... Like, you have to have your inventory full, That what's you're carrying. And then come over here, grab it, sit for a second, and then... Come on, do it. Do it. I know. I know you want to do it. Hit me. Come on. Come on. Ah, whatever. We got two muskets right there. And we got a few other items, so we can make a little bit more cash. But we did lose a few men, which is not good because honestly, we do not have tons of men. But any stretch of the men's nation. <laughs> But hey, let's go see if Conwitz works for money making. Oh wow, look at all these armies. By Prussia. Looks like Prussia's doing well ever since I left them. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, let's uh, go into the marketplace real quick. Go to John Merchant and let's sell all this junk. Um, I do have this horse. Which theirs is better, but mine's British, so we're gonna keep British. We're gonna keep the theme. Let's see how well their muskets are in compared to mine. In comparison, let's uh, compare them real quick. 80, 70, uh, 35. Mine's actually better with thrust. So yeah, we'll sell it. And we'll sell their clothing. Nice! 300 and 59 francs. That's probably the most I've ever seen in one of those moments right there. Um, let's go into the arena real quick. We're, we're starting to make a few, a little bit more money, but it's all based on renown, so you have to get your renown up and your rank up, and then you can actually start making some money. So, beforehand, we were only making 10 per fight. Um... And yeah, this is all you do if you want to be really quick with this. I can't remember how much I'm making. It's not a lot still, but... At least now it's a regular fighter, fighter instead of a novice fighter. So yeah, I come back in here, enter the arena. And then you talk to the fight promoter. And you get 35 francs. So yeah, uh, it's jumped up to 35, which is, which is better than nothing. It's not amazing by any means, but that's okay. Um, let's uh, let's level up you guys. It's gonna be expensive. Okay, let's uh, let's do the cheaper leveling up, like you two. Um, yeah, we'll level up all these guys, and that drops us down to two fourteen, which is not amazing. We'll level you up. British dragoon, sure. Okay. 
That's all the, the cheap stuff. Arthur Evans is actually ready to level up, so actually let's uh, step in there real quick. Um, what do we want to do here? We can increase charisma and increase our party size, but I don't know if that's the right direction right now. Uh, power Strike could be better, but I don't think that's important as well either. Trainer is nice, but you need a little bit more money. So let's do the things that actually help us with money a little bit more. Um, potentially like inventory management and trade help out right there. Persuasion might need to go up a little bit in the future as well. Tactics is nice, um, but not necessary. So yeah, let's... Uh, hmm. No, I might just go with Charisma now because we're going to eventually want it in the future, potentially. I mean, once we level up, we uh, we get more as well. So maybe not. Let's let's forego that right now. Let's see here. Athletics. That will help us with our running speed. Our running speed is not too fast. That might be good. And Weapons Master would be nice because then we could actually improve a little bit right over here. So let's... uh. Let's get some strength. Should I get some strength? Yeah, let's get some strength. Let's get Weapon Master. Um, and let's increase our musketry so our target ridicule is a lot smaller than it is right now. Okay, perfect. We got a little bit more going for us. Let's keep heading over to Russia. We're getting closer now. We could go to Gorno, but let's, let's go to Moscow. Oh yeah, our first Russian army right there. Good to meet you, Mikhail. I do like the the spelling that they do. I mean, honestly, it's in this game it's English spelling. It's not like the Russian language spelling by any means. Oh, where where is Moscow? I was like, I know it's somewhere. It's all the way over there. That's pretty far away. Let's uh let's go up to. Poskva or whatever. I, I do not know how to pronounce things. If you guys are from Russia, I ask for your forgiveness in that regard. Okay, let's go into reports. Let's see where our renown is at. We're at 81. If we get up to 100, then we can level up in the British Army. Let's come in here. Let's go see if we can talk to some lords and, you know, make some money over here. Oh, yeah? You want to punch me? You want to punch me, fool? I'm Arthur Evans. All right. Uh, let's see here. There's nobody here. I guess I could just, you know, walk around and talk to people. Um, try to find their armies and whatnot. <laughs> well, I mean, Moscow should have some armies around it. I would assume they would. Let's, uh, military depot Russian-wise. All right, Moscow. Moskva. Is, I think, how you pronounce it in Russian. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, somebody kept telling me I should come over here. But honestly, it might be good to go back to uh, England. But we're going to see if we can talk to the, the Tsar. And build relations with them. Um... Alright, who are you, Lady Ramba? To me, she does not look like an 18th century woman, guys. You can barely see her, I know, but... <laughs> Alright. Married to Mikkel. Let's go. Vladimir. I do like some of the language and words. It's kind of fun. Okay, let's see here. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. One thing I, that would be nice, and see that's the thing I can't do anymore over in England, is do some of these quests for lords, where I go gather taxes or whatnot, and I get to keep a good portion of it. Like, and that would be beneficial to me. All right, let's uh, make sure we select them. Okay, so I'm Arthur Evans. Uh, do you have any tasks for me? All right, never mind. We can't do that once we are officially a lord of any place. I thought in some of the other mountain blades you can do it, but I guess not in this version of the mod. That's not cool. Because if I, at one point, pillage a village, 
then I will not be able to probably escape because they just got a lot of men. And I do not have a lot of men. Alright, let's not charge in there, guys. They will come to us. Trust me. Alright, uh, let's see here. Let's grab my musketeers and put them right there in the middle. Put any infantry I have right there. Auxiliary infantry, you'll be on this flank. Sharpshooters, you'll be on this flank over here. Let's grab my cavalry. Put them over there. Uh, do I have any other cavalry? I have the auxiliary cavalry, probably. Let's put you over there as well. And let's see what other units I have that I have not adjusted in the movements yet. All right. I will command my... Uh, oh, shoot. What are you guys doing over here? Do you guys not have a home? Yeah, sharpshooters, I thought I told you to go over there. Go. Move. Alright, big rating present. Infantry. My musketeers. Alright. Ready. Aim. Fire at will. Oh, I got my pistol out. Well, that will work for the time being. Okay, maybe not in that case. Alright, let's go in there with our... With our bayonet. Oh, I didn't get him. That's okay, I guess. Alright, now it's just a long distance battle, it looks like. Well, we did a lot better. Oh, fine. <laughs> I like how they all have a one on their back. Do I have a one as well? I do have a one. So that's just a standard uniform thing. Okay, we took out a few more of their men. Good, good. Yes, yes. Okay, where's my horse? I'm gonna get on my horse. I need to lead my men. Oh, I have no more. Yeah, that's right. Alright, let's uh, have creeping fire. So, what I'll do is I'll grab my auxiliary infantry. Which side did I put them on? Okay, I put them on that side. So let's put them over here. Same for my sharpshooters. So these guys will need to hold the fire. So let's uh, make ready and present with them. Move up. That way they can actually move though. No, I'm losing men by just sitting here. Okay, come on, go, 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 go. At least he was just knocked out. Okay. Let's have them fire at will now. Okay, let's grab my musketeers. And let's move you guys up here. Let's uh, have you guys make ready and present. Alright, cavalry, let's have you guys follow me real quick. Losing men. We need to get in there. It's not like my men grow on trees or anything. They get pretty expensive. Okay, let's have musketeers fire, fire at will. Nice. Took out a few of them. And of course, I ran into a tree. So let's uh, let's charge in there now. Okay, let's have cavalry charge. Auxiliary and myself and my British ones. Let's get this taken care of, guys. Oh yeah, I thought I'd just mention, I have great news. Uh, where are they at, even? Oh, he's over to my right a little bit. I think I missed him. Oh, he's right there. There you are, you're retreating. That's okay, I'll put you out of your misery. Okay, let's go grab his gun. Dismount. Whoops. Come on, let me grab his rifle. Come on. 
Pocket it. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's end that battle. Oh, man. I'm glad I pocketed that. Holy cow, that was not worth it. Gained five renown, lost a few men, and let's go to Minitsk real quick. See what we can find over there. We generally gonna just sell some stuff real quick. Okay, we're gonna get 58 francs, which is like nothing. And they have, uh, we'll get some cabbage, whatever. Okay, let's go to the city hall and see if there's anything else over here. Man, this is terrible. Arthur Evans was supposed to be sent here as basically an emissary, but this maybe not might not work out like that. Okay, you're also wait. There might be more than yeah. There's few Mikels. I was just like, wait, you also married to Mikel? Holy cow, Mikel! Is there like polygamy over here? But yeah, anyways, the good news I thought I'd just mention to you guys is that I oh sister-in-law, oh wife. Oh. Well. Let's leave. But anyways, I actually did get word back from Creative Assembly about Total War. They said I am free to monetize and have my content on a monetized channel. So, good news, guys. Good news. I'm really excited to bring that to you. I think it will be really good. One thing I may have to do, guys, though, in the meantime, is Arthur Evans might need to just level up a little bit and just, you know... Go ahead and do some things, get some money and whatnot, because right now we're kind of in a standstill. We can't really do a whole lot right now. Really can't do a whole lot right now, which is not good. Ooh, bandits. Dundra bandits. Okay, we'll go to his aid. Why not? Build relations with Prussia in the meantime. But yeah, that's one thing that Arthur Evans will need to do. Hey, we got artillery for the first time in like ever. Alright. Let's go level up, uh, Mr. Arthur Evans. Just getting bonsai in there. Slice up a few people. Slice and dice. Yeah, I remember you could jump, but I didn't remember it being really that effective anyways. Alright, here it comes. Oh, you're gonna try to shoot me? How cute. Hey, leveled up. That's nice. Oh, I miss. And he hit me. All right. Nice. That was actually pretty good right there. Yeah, I got the most of the kills right here. <laughs> I even snuck in and took that one. Oh wait, let's see if we can go grab some stuff from them. I know it's just bandit stuff, but it's still stuff. Pocket it, pocket it, pocket it. Oh yeah, there we go, we got it. Butchery knife is really not a lot of monetary value. Okay, got that. Oh man, these things are crappy. Where, where's some good stuff, guys? Where's your guns? Okay, we pocketed that. There we go, there's a pistol. Come on, pocket that. Yeah, there we go, that actually has some value to it. Alright, let's see before it kicks us out. Come on, pocket this one, pocket this one. You got it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Okay, we'll grab all this stuff. And we lost no men in that battle, so that's good. But yeah, look at that. That's a lot better selling price. Oh, gosh. All the other things were just like candy and whatnot. Okay, let's uh, go over to Con's Wits. Sell this stuff, and then I'll call it good with you guys. Whoops. Yeah, 52, 52. A lot better in terms of money. Uh, we may need a little bit more grain and I'll grab some bread as well. I'll sell those things too. Okay, there we go, 137. A lot better, there we go. Uh, let's see if we can actually go fight in the arena real quick. Let's go to the arena. And see if they'll let us fight. <laughs> 
Okay, they'll let us fight, so we'll make 35 more. Man, I have to like do all these small things in order to make money. Hopefully we can take over some lords and then ransom them. Oh no, I don't want to give it up. I just won. There we go. Okay, let's go back to the arena and we got 35 more francs. Oh yeah. But yeah, once you get leveled up enough, you'll be able to make 2,000 francs. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave it right here. Because I don't want to bore you guys, and I need to get Arthur Evans into a good fighting condition. So anyways, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Crooklicious. Check in.